Welcome to All Classic Horror, and in this collection we're looking at vintage and classic Humbers, and to begin with, a very sad, very derelict looking Humber Scepter from 1966. This one doesn't look like it's been on the road for many a year. Okay, back to the 1950s and this quite rare and magnificent Humber Super Snipe. This particular car, RAR 476, dates to November 1953. That's a Hertfordshire registration. And following that, DBG 82D is a 1966 Humber Super Snipe. This was at a classic car show quite a few years ago. I think this was Malvern. And there's a rear view of the same car. And yes, this is Malvern, the classic car show that's held there once or twice every year and still is to this day. This was in the mid to late 2000s, about 2006 or 7, I think. Now to the NEC and a classic car show, of course, CBX 477C is a 1965 Humber Scepter. Showing off its engine bay, an immaculate car there. And like many of the Humbers in this video, with extra badging. Same here, this is one of several original period photos that will feature in this collection. HMW 242, that's a Wiltshire registered Humber Hawk, um, from about 1951, late 51, early 1952. Now to a museum over in the northeast, we saw this a few years ago, a vintage Humber YO9550, that's a 1225 Tora. This one dates to October 1926, has a 1500cc engine. The beautiful car is too. Now, next up in this collection of Humber car photographs is this little gem, a 1966 Humber Hawk. Slightly smaller, and also 1966, is this car, HHT 542D, which is a 1966 Humber Scepter, of course. These were based on the Hillman Super Minx. It was like the upmarket version. Now to the early 1950s, FDY281. This is a wonderful Mark III Humber Super Snipe. This one was registered in June of 1952. There's a 4-litre petrol engine under that magnificent bonnet. Wonderful old cars. Another vintage Humber here. Very smart indeed, I do like the V split windscreen on this particular car. I think this was down in Shropshire somewhere. That's a vintage car rally quite a few years ago now. There's a rear three quarter view of the same car. This was at Malvern, um, but it's the same car. Nice fitted luggage on the rear there. Very smart car indeed. And I do like the Dunlop cord lettering on the tire there as well. Really, really nice car. Now to the Haynes Motor Museum. Um, very smart Humber Hawk here. Another old period photo here and two chaps with their 1966 Humber Imperial. This was very much top of the tree, uh, vinyl roof and uh, selectable rear shock absorbers or dampers on these particular cars. And this one looks very well laden. JVV33, that's a Humber Hawk Series 1 from October 1958. 2.2 litre engine under the bonnet of that particular car. This was at the NEC Classic Car Show. Many, many badges on this one too. No extra badges on this one though, another Humber Scepter. You can really see in this particular photo just how deep that windscreen is and how far back into the roof it goes. Hence the very large sun visors that you can see as well. Same angle, different car. This car was for sale, 5795, sir. Uh, very, very smart Humber Super Snipe. This was at a classic car show several years ago now. Now to the Langothlin Motor Museum, one of my favourite little motor museums. This is in North Wales, and this is a vintage Humber 10 horsepower Tourer with an Austin 7 Chummy alongside and a Ford Model T just in the distance there. There's another view of the same car, and you can see the Ford Model T's unbraked front axle there. But no, we're looking at the Wolseley. Um, Wolseley? This is a Humber, of course. Yep, definitely Humbers. Now, 212 DDH, first of two photographs of this wonderful Humber Hawk estate. This car dates to July of 1958, 2.2 litre engine, and that's a Walsall registration series introduced in June. 
1958. There's a side on view of the same car on a different day. This was the Western Park Classic Car event. Now down to Bista Heritage. This was a few years back and we have a great and rare surviving example of a Humber staff car. These are such a useful car. Another super snipe in this is the estate version. What a magnificent car that is. A few extra badges on the front of course. And a couple of no-tech lamps as well. Here's a beautiful car that pops up at various local events. FE 9852. That's a 1927 Humber 1440. That's a Lincoln registration. Another period photo now. GVH 487. That's a Huddersfield registered Humber Hawk, um, dating to early mid 1953. Great old photograph of that, but what's the car alongside it? Now, this was an evening meeting organised by the Whitchurch Motor Club. Go and have a look at the video if you've not yet seen it. This was a really good little gathering, TBY214, that's a Hawk, um, from 1958. That's a London registration. To the Tatton Park Classic Co Car Show in the mid to late 2000s. We've got a 1965 Scepter here. Two photographs now of another wonderful estate car version of the Super Snipe LAS 855. This is a Series 2 Super Snipe estate from 1960. This was at the Chumley Castle Classic Car Show. Uh, don't appear to be events run there anymore, but it was a really good venue for these classic car meetings. And you can just see how huge that load area is and the really interesting curved rear side glass of these particular cars. Back to vintage times now and this wonderful, wonderful YP1002. This is a July 1926 uh, Tora 1465cc engine. Really nice survivor car, very original paint, etc. And it's great to see the old cast aluminium number plates still present, not these modern repro plates. Back to the Haynes Motor Museum, and we've got one of the Arrow series Humbers here um, from the late 60s or early 1970s. Ooh, there's, a, there's a standard 10 alongside, fantastic. Mustn't forget that Humber also made military vehicles, and here's one of them. It's a four-wheel drive, a one-ton truck. I think that's a radio body on the back. This was a military vehicle meeting at the Crew Heritage Centre uh, a few years back. But back to road cars, and we've got 102 WTJ. That's a Humber Super Snipe. This one's a Series 3 from 1961. The Series 3, by that point, had the four circular headlamps, but still had the curvy roof line. The later cars were much squarer. GHF 277, this was a photo sent to me by a regular on the old classic car forum. This is a Series 1 Super Snipe from 1959. A beautiful car is too. This was photographed at a gathering in North Wales. And also in North Wales is NCC 160. That's a North Wales registration. Got a Scepter, really nice car indeed. This one from 1963. This one was last on the road in 1984, so it's been sat in that museum quite some time. And another car that has been sat on for a very long time is this Humble Hawk of the early 1950s, photographed in a very dusty, slightly disorganised garage. Anyway, carry on with these vintage and classic Humbers. We've got CF6395, two photos of this particular car. It's a Humber 1225 Coupe of 1926. That car first saw use in West Suffolk, apparently, but shown here at one of the classic car shows held at Malvern. Really, really nice car that is. Do love the old two gallon shell petrol can on the running board as well. Back to the period black and white photos for a moment here. We've got an early 50s Humber Hawk. I'm guessing this scene dates to sometime around the mid. 1950s, the car looks a little bit grubby and a nice period roof rack there as well, so maybe it was a holiday trip, who knows. Really nice car, Shropshire registered, but seen down in the southwest and 1967 Humber Super Snipe. This car's got a slightly square roof line compared to the earlier cars. Two photos now of LHK371, very much a pre-war looking car, but this car actually dates 
1946 that's an Essex registration but a very handsome machine it is too there's a side on view of the same car at a different event a really really handsome looking car and the, my old Talbot used or was based very much around this particular era of car if you've not seen the Talbot videos it's three litre Talbot videos have a look on the channel when you're finished here now back to the NEC we've got a 1967 Humber Scepter just one extra badge on this one for the AA a couple of extra lamps as well about halfway through now and there's a rear three-quarter view of the same Humber Scepter you can just see the small 1725 badge showing that it's got the latest 1725 cc engine very similar to that in the Sunbeam Alpine of course another military Humber now FSL 992 this is a Humber Pig armoured car Mark 1 from 1953 this had a 4.2 litre Rolls-Royce B60 six cylinder engine in it back to normal cars FBF 863 that's a Super Sniper Series 3 car from 1961. And a auction, an auction at the Donington Park Circuit quite a few years ago and this uh, early 70s Humber appeared so I thought I'd grab a quick snap of that one. To the NEC and a wonderful little Tora here, I'm guessing this is another 12 horsepower car very vintage in style 1920s definitely if you know any more about that car and indeed any of the Humbers in this particular video please pop a note in the comments it's always great to read your thoughts now another old photo 999 YLG Humber Scepter that's a Cheshire registration series introduced in December of 1962 doesn't show up as being registered anymore so I wonder if they had anything to do with the police talking of Humbers with interesting registrations we got 6763k this is a Liverpool registered Super Snipe. Quite a few badges on that one as well. And the one on the left on the front grille there is for ADAC, the motoring organisation in Germany. Now spotted in a barn just a few years ago was this mighty Humber Imperial. We've got two photos of this particular car. It's a 1965 Series 5 Humber Imperial. A mighty machine. I seem to remember the prop shaft had been removed and it had been towed there. Um, but what the problem with it was, I'm not quite sure. Um, is it back on the road? I really don't know. It's a very tasty little Alpha alongside it as well. Now, thanks to Graham for this fantastic photograph. At first glance, you think this is a Hillman Minx, but um, over in New Zealand, this was uh, on the sale there. It's a Humber 80 Series 3B, 1961. Very much like our Minx, but badged as Humber over there. Now to the Tatton Park classic car show in about 2006 or 2007, we've got 829BLT, which is a 1961 Humber Hawk Series 2. And there's a rear three quarter view of the same car at a different Tatton Park meeting. Well, a bit rainy day by the look of it, uh, not the best day, but no. Nice to see all these old cars out and about despite the weather. Okay, and back to Donington Park again, and we've got a 1965 Scepter here. Quite a rakish looking car. The, obviously the links to the, the Hillman Super Minx are clear to see. Out of vintage times once more, MK9593. This is a Humber 1225 dating to 1926, so very much a vintage car. As defined by the VSCC, which is up to and including 1930. Another period photo, but this time a colour one, and we've got a mighty early 1950 Super Snipe on wedding car duties here. There's a nice old Morris Isis in the background too. Very chunky tyres on the rear as well. HDJ 299D, that's a 1966 Humber Hawk. Quite a smart example. Where was this? I don't even remember. This was possibly Chumley Castle again. Yeah, I think that was Chumley Castle quite a few years ago. There's a front three-quarter view of the same car. Very nice indeed. Driving around Portugal, you often see, when you get off the main road, you often see a few old cars for sale on people's land. And uh, this was just such an example. Next to the DKW, we've got a left-hand drive Humber Scepter. Um, I imagine that's probably quite a solid example, but VSY512, going back to 1957, it's a wonderful Mark VI Humber Hawk Estate. What a fantastic usable car that is, complete with sun visor as well. 
and staying at the NEC for a moment, we've got this wonderful estate based on a slightly later Super Snipe, quad headlamp car of course. There's a rear three quarter view of the exact same car, perfectly set up for a day's picnicking. All the equipment there in the back, what a great, great car that is. Split rear tailgate as well, very practical. It can sit on the back there just like a Range Rover. Now, thanks to Vince for this photo, MHY474F. That's a Humber Hawk Series 4A of 1967. Looks like a very original car. Quite a gathering of classic cars there from what I can see. Two photos now of this vintage saloon. Um, this uh, belonged to someone that I know quite well. Um, this was it in its dark blue era, and not long after this photo was taken, it was involved in a road accident, I believe. And this is the car almost finished off, repainted and restored post-accident. Um, if you know any more about this particular car, let me know in the comments too. It's always great to read your thoughts about the cars that feature in these videos on the Old Classic Car channel. Another photo sent in by a regular on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for that one. Again, an early 70s version of the Humber Scepter. Back to Chumley Castle, classic car show a few years back and parked up in the overflow parking area. We've got ECC, so that's a North Wales registered, uh, Humber Hawk Mark 6. Really nice car in two-tone blue. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car. Very elegant light units. Are they the ones that are also on Elvis's of the era? Not very similar. The side on view, it's not the world's best photograph of a Humber Scepter, but I do like the sign in the background, the Emporium selling buckets and spades. So this is presumably a seaside location some I moment. Mean, if you recognise it, let me know. Now to the Gaydon, the Motor Museum down at Gaydon, we've got a 1967 Humber Hawk Estate. Fantastic, fantastically usable, very practical car, perfect for doing auto jumbles in and picking up those essential spare parts. Over to Alton Park, and this was on the VSCC Concours uh, display area, SP9919. That's a 1925 12 horsepower Tora, 1479cc engine. It's a Fife registration. Two photos now, two old black and white photos of a Humber Hawk. We've got a side on view here showing the much curvier roof line of this era of Humber Hawk. And like I say, it was squared off on subsequent versions. There's a rear view, 507. BRY. Interesting feature, the right hand circular reflector just below the lamps also doubles up as the fuel filler cap. All very clever. To a uh, Welsh Motor Museum here, and we've got HBO 952, that's a Humber Pullman limousine, 1953. What a magnificent car that is. I remember being very impressed years ago when I saw the built in HMV radio in the rear quarters. Now, HF0734, that's a 1963 Super Snipe Series 4. Now, this has been untaxed since 2011. So, is it being restored somewhere or has it been broken for parts? Who knows? Another military 4x4 here, one of the one ton trucks, different body compared to the previous one we saw at the Crew Heritage Centre. A really chunky fellow, this one. Just a few more to go. Here, MYO76. This is another car that's off the road at the moment. It shows up as being sawn. It's a 1953 Humber Hawk Mark V, dating to May of 1953. This was at Western Park many, many years ago. Down to Wem in Shropshire. We've got another example of the Humber Scepter here. Now, if you've watched the Dover Transport Museum video, which I hope you have done, you'll have seen this one before. It's a super snipe dating to December of 1937. This is a really interesting place. The walk around video has been online since last year, so please check that out. Another estate car, ASJ842. That's a super snipe estate. This one's a Series 3 dating to 1960. It's like a really usable car. Is that one still around? Obviously, these photos go back 20 years in some cases. And finally, just a little gathering of four more photographs. We've got a Hawk at the top left, a couple of Scepters, and a rear view of FDY281, that 1952 Super Snipe that we saw earlier on in this particular 
video and that rounds out this collection of classic and vintage Humber car photographs. I hope that was of interest and there's plenty of content on here now relating to Humber's Roots Group and British cars in general so have a wander around before you disappear completely and there'll be more videos along very very soon so thank you very much and bye for now.